I don't know if anybody's read the front of this lectern. I could just from over there, I think people can from here. Those at the back might not be able to. It says, helping schools play an important role at the heart of the community. I will be eternally grateful for the opportunity to become a Cynic Fellow. Thank you very much, Lucy, and those people that put me in that position. Because it's enabled me to be able to work harder, stronger, push it further, and unlock more potential from students that I serve than I would have been able to otherwise. And I firmly do believe that. My school deprivation, low aspirations, low esteem, very few um, low results, low community reputation. I arrived there four years ago. That was the state we were in. A disconnected community in many ways. But we believe that by connecting the development of the whole child through community involvement, through community stakeholders, we could build social capital. John called it education capital this morning, an excellent phrase, through membership. So we could empower our local community, empower our local people. Not a, college, not a school, but a college, a different view of education. Change perceptions, build membership, create sustainability over a period of time. Membership is very much at the core of something we started to look at four years ago called the big curriculum that brings community into college and takes college out into the community to improve outcomes and aspects for everybody involved. The opportunity to connect and interconnect standards, achievement, attainment and community. Where were we three years ago? 5 A's to C, 31%. 5 A's to C in English and Maths, 22%. Through active and visual learning, we now stand at 97% 5 A's to C and 60% 5 A's to C, including English and Maths. And just yesterday I received a phone call to say the Forvest data had come through and our value added over the last three years has gone from 960 to 1027. Why is that important? Well, not because of their results, because they affect real outcomes for real people, pupils. We make a difference every day in what we do. It's not the end results that matter, it's the process they've been through. That whole child mentality through community involvement and membership. A project that I worked on just under two years ago, that was what our classrooms looked like four years ago. Kids didn't want to come to the school. Our persistent absence was 10%. Our attendance was 88%. Most schools come out of that in three years to five years. Small steps, didn't think that was good enough. Wanted to move quicker and further. So I involved the community, Mid-Counties Cooperative, spent some money with us, and the Donington Partnership did some work on boys' projects. In one year, we changed around our persistent absence from 10% to 3%, affecting real-life chances for real-life people quickly. Our attendance is now at 94%, and it's been sustainable for that over the last three years. Children enjoying curriculum development, pupils, bums on seats, pupils being there. Great Pyramids at Giza. I want us to be like the Great Pyramids at Giza. Be there forever. People look at them. I don't want us to disappear. I don't want those real achievements to disappear. I want them to be sustainable over a period of time. How do you do that? You build trust. So I created our own trust, our own mutual, based on a cooperative model membership and engagement and democracy at its core. Those are the current partners. The latest one, Telford Tigers ice hockey team. Working together, we are stronger. I firmly believe in that. I passionately believe in that. Working together, we can solve problems better. We can improve outcomes. We can generate change based on unified values. Festival of Learning started last year. 700 pupils, 100 schools, infants to university, enterprise skills, building social capital, building education capital. Value for money? One pound, two pence it cost per child to run that event because of volunteering. We can see 
a few pictures of what that event meant, based at RAF Cosford. We had events going on under the wings of planes, really motivating for pupils. One event was learning Japanese. We had to respond to the global change, perhaps a very important language to come. But it was really about people spending time together of different generations. Four-year-olds spending time with 15-year-olds and 15-year-olds spending time with 20-year-olds to solve a problem. Building social capital over a period of time, starting somewhere with a festival of education. This year, 1,000 pupils, 17th of November, you've got your invite, RAF Cosford. Another project, because we wanted to look at our international dimension, so I, I decided South Africa was a good place to go just before the World Cup. And um, we ran a competition. None of our kids could afford £1,500 to go to South Africa. They just had to contribute a small amount. They're the lucky souls there. There's six of them. Uh, one of them owned a passport before that event. The other five had never been out of a four-mile radius of where they lived. We took them to Lesotho, where they ran a student cooperative forum for 800 Africans across Africa. They ran it. Year 9s, 10s and 11s. Not A-level students. They ran it. They taught people of all different ages how to set up enterprise projects with multiple bottom lines, not just profit. That's one of the examples. That was a team building example done on the first day. Ethical enterprise in action. And to round it off, on the last day, to really change the perceptions, just before we flew back, I took them on a safari where they saw the big five in action. They finished it off with a lion. So it's changing aspirations, raising aspirations, building on deprivation to take people out of deprivation. I'm really pleased to say that this was recognised at a national level and we won the Business in the Community National Education Excellence Award presented by Prince Charles in London just before we broke up. I will say that I don't like that word on the board, the end, because it isn't the end, not for me and what I'm doing, it's only the beginning. I am very, very grateful to the Cynic Fellowship for enabling me to spend more time driving this project forward. And I did use a good chunk of it to take those kids to South Africa, because I thought that was probably one of the most experiences those children will ever, best experiences those children will ever get. Thank you.